Hey, tech fam. The IT job market is booming. But at the same time, a lot of people like, I don't know. Let's talk about it. What's up, tech fam? Welcome or welcome back to the Gadget Tools Unlimited YouTube channel, where we engage in IT career talk, tutorials, computer tech, IT projects, and news. The news of the day is how the tech sector is booming, but a lot of people feel like they've been working too hard already. They're trying to take some time off. We need that work-life balance. You know, in 2021, we've seen record hiring of IT professionals. And according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there's about 197,000 more IT jobs available now than at the same time last year. It's probably one of them things where, you know, the folks who started early, fully focused on their career and just grounded out, you know, they, they might be experiencing a little bit of burnout right now. At the same time, folks who just now jumping on are seeing major opportunities, you know, coming up and, and, and trying to get in there. So it's, it's kind of a crazy little cycle going on. Now, according to an IT employment consultancy by the name of uh, Janko Associates, on their website, they say that information technology leaders say that they are boosting compensation packages and flexible work options to widen the pool of prospective job candidates as demand surges for tech talent. They looking at a situation where, you know, in order to entice employees and retain the existing staff they got, you know, they offering more options, flexible work options, combinations of in-office and remote work, which is a big one, especially for IT folks. I know me personally, I love working remotely. And so that's gonna be a big factor in every job I look at now and in the future. That that remote work, at least sometimes, that's a, that's a must for me. And a lot of other people feel the same way. So, you know, companies are offering uh, b bigger and better packages for these. The median salary for IT professionals is expected to grow between ninety six and ninety seven thousand um, dollars next year, and that's up from just over ninety four thousand in January of this year and ninety five thousand in June. It seems like this pandemic and all of the cascading side effects that came along with it, you know, have upended the traditional ideas of work life balance. Uh, as far as employees are concerned these days. And at the same time, it, it revealed the deficiencies in industries that companies are trying to improve right now. For instance, um, cybersecurity, there's been a big uptick in cybersecurity interest and cybersecurity roles. And a lot more activity over the pandemic when people were kind of you know, stuck inside more, a lot more of cyber activity, cyber threat activity had been building up because now the hackers got more time to sit around and figure out ways to infiltrate people's infrastructure. So now we have a situation where jobs are being created while workers are deciding that their current job are not as important to them as maybe they had been in the past. And so this has added even more jobs to the market and kind of intensifying the need for qualified employees. Roughly 34.4 million people have quit their jobs this year as they reevaluate their work lives. According to the job search company Job List, a survey of 26,000 employees recently published by the Job List showed nearly three quarters of respondents said that they were actively thinking about quitting and roughly 34.4 million people have quit this year alone. They tired of it, fam. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people quit jobs to move to other jobs, though. Um, you know, you, you got your segment of people who just tired and want to take a break, go on vacation. The pandemic, you know, they may have lost people. The pandemic made them reevaluate what's important to them. You know, you only get one life and life is short. In the grand scheme of things, most people want to uh, stay around longer than they usually end up having. So, you know, you got your segment of people that was like, you know, it, it's not that important. I need to enjoy my life. You know what I'm saying? And then you got your people who's like, 
with the um, need for a qualified employee, this company over here offering 10 grand more than what y'all paying me right now to do the same job. What am I gonna stick around here for? Pew! You know what I'm talking about? I'm gone, fam. And you know, while some people may say that job hopping, so to speak, job hopping is not that good, I don't, I don't believe that. Sometimes you might end up in a situation where you run into a dead end in the place you at for a variety of reasons, and you might have to jump ship to, to um, find greener pastures, so to speak. And so I wouldn't recommend every six months changing jobs. That don't look good on nobody's resume. But you know, after about a year or two, if you don't, you ain't seeing no way where you can maneuver your way up where you at. You might look across the aisle and see what's over there, especially if they paying more money. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm pretty sure it's, it's you know, it's a big challenge to find qualified people for IT jobs because, you know, entry level and low level IT, um, there's a lot of those positions available and, and pretty much anyone can get in there. You can switch from whatever you're doing to IT and start at the bottom. And that's a good way to start. But these high level cloud engineering, coding, you know, HTML website, building, all of these jobs take skill. And, you know, there's only so many people who know these skills, especially with emerging technologies, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence. These are new industries. So there's not a lot of people who are fully qualified and that know a lot about how to maintain these systems. So there's it, it, it's like a situation out there where there's thousands of jobs just sitting there, but there's nobody qualified to, to fill them. Janko says it's going to be an ongoing search for qualified employees. And according to some of the data that they reviewed, shutdowns resulted in fewer computer science candidates graduating from universities and schools because of the shutdown in the pandemic and the fears of the uh, coronavirus. A lot of people just decided they weren't going out. So some people didn't enroll in those classes and didn't uh, take that they took a year off from college or whatever. And so it ended up a lot of, it ended up with reduced numbers of people graduating with technology degrees. They also say one of the drivers of that trend was that the closing of the borders limited the number of foreign nationals who would qualify for the training and the education that would have put them in a position to fill some of these positions. Many of the new positions that CIOs are trying to fill are in new technologies. There's a shortfall of individuals having training and the necessary skills. These are open positions that just can't be filled. And at the same time, attrition rates are on the rise in many IT organizations because folks are just, they, they leaving for greener pastures. They going to other places, leveling up their careers, some of them. And so, you know, if you've been looking at the um, tech industry and the market, you know it's pretty much now like it was before the pandemic. You know, more IT jobs than there are people to fill them. It's just an added tick to it. It's kind of ticked up a level given all the stuff that's been going on. Probably, you know, uh, some of the hardest jobs to fill are a lot of these new cybersecurity roles. Over the last, you know, four or five years, we've seen groups of hackers and foreign nations interfering in politics and culture of other countries, you know, infiltrating systems and having a way. And so cybersecurity is really prevalent. I, you know, I've noticed just on YouTube, the amount of content creators that are covering cybersecurity roles and producing content on the subject of cybersecurity is up. It's like a trending topic right now, you know, cybersecurity. So, you know, if, if you just pay attention and look around you, you'll see that these things are, are in, in view and uh, things are changing right around us. And, you know, this is why I believe now more than any other time is the best time to get into IT. Companies are paying more and doing more to make employees happy now than they have in any other time in history, it seemed like. I mean, folks is getting all kinds of stuff. I, I've seen folks talk about how they got a $60,000 raise by switching 
to a different role in IT just by switching to a different role. Up their money to sixty thousand. Companies is paying two hundred, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars for some of these positions in IT and um, cloud technologies. So now is as good a time as it's ever been to get into IT. I'm a big IT advocate, and that's why I'm on here on the Gadget Tools channel trying to let everybody know that if you want to get into IT, it is not impossible. It may be a little challenging, but it's not impossible. And the reward, the benefits, that's, that's gonna pay off so hard in the end that you getting into it was gonna seem like nothing to you. Trust and believe me. It's awesome over here in tech. Let me tell you. So tech fan, what y'all think about it? You know, what do you think about it being so many IT positions open, so many job positions open, so many people leaving their jobs, and then it being so hard to fill a lot of positions. Are you trying to get into IT? What, what steps are you taking to further your career or to get into a new career as it pertains to IT? You gotta have goals, you gotta set them goals, and you gotta work on them goals every day. And if you do that, you will be successful in whatever it is you do. And with that tech fam, I'm going to bring this talk to an end. If you are not already subscribed to the channel and you are enjoying the content that we've been delivering, please subscribe to the channel. It'll benefit you. And if you click that little bell icon, it'll let you know whenever we drop new content so you can be one of the first people to check it out and weigh in on what is going on in this awesome tech industry. Until the next video, fam. Peace.